Hi everyone, this is just a really quick Money Monday video. I want to talk to you about your money mindset. When you are about to embark on financial goals, that is exciting. It's a really great place to be. But there's some really important groundwork that you need to do before you embark on achieving those goals. And it all starts with what is going on internally. Money starts with a money mindset. You need to really make peace with your financial past. Accept where you've stuffed up, where you've made mistakes, those feelings of guilt, embarrassment, remorse, or even where you feel like you're a victim and blame other people. You need to make peace with that and make sure you take the beauty of the wisdom and the lesson from that because that is what's going to create that shift where you stop repeating history. You get off that merry-go-round and start creating more powerful, inspiring experience and opportunities and ideas in your financial future. This is incredibly important you stop and take the time to do this properly. Feel those feelings of regret, anger, you know, embarrassment, shame. It doesn't matter. It's okay to feel that. And then make sure you feel it, respect it, and then let it go. Make peace with your past. And make sure that you never make those mistakes again. You will go into the future with a much more empowered, energetic, grounded and centered sense of your future and what you're worthy of and what you're worthy of and capable of achieving. Also, make sure that you show gratitude towards those previous mistakes. I always like to think there are no mistakes there are no failures. They are all the stepping stones to take you to a better, happier, more peaceful, more empowered place. When you show gratitude and acceptance, you feel lighter. You feel you make the space to fill in those spots for more exciting, more empowering things in your future. You carry a new energy vibration around you where people actually can see and sense there's something different about you. You're happier. You're more content. You're more fulfilled. You've got a greater sense of purpose, a greater sense of clarity and direction. You've really grown and you can't help but inspire other people around you because you're just glowing. So it's really important that you stop and take the time to make peace with your past. The next thing I want you to do is look at the way that you talk about your financial situation right now as well as in the future. I want you to not tell people about how bad you were with money because if you just do that, you're just going to continuously have those things shown up in your current situation in your future. I want you to say, you know what, yes I was in the past really bad with money, I used to spend money on silly things but I've really learned from that, I've worked out what my triggers are, I've learned out why I did that and I've put the right strategies in place to stop myself from doing that and I've learned to fill my cup using better, more healthier ideas and opportunities around me. And then you can start to talk about your future. You talk about it in a really positive way. You go, yeah, I've set some great goals for myself. I'm actually working on building up a passive income so that I don't need to work. And I'm actually doing things today that feel really good, that are all steps in the right direction to actually see that goal happen. And as you start to share this attitude and perspective about your future, you start to really believe in yourself and you feel this sense of self-worth and self-love and self-respect continuously flourish and you're just stepping into a stronger vibrational state. And as you're doing this, you have this, mis this, this mysterious but incredibly like sexy energy about yourself where ideas start to present themselves to you that are in line with the goals that you're trying to create and, and manifest and achieve. Opportunities present themselves. You start to have continuously amazing experiences where you're always growing and becoming wiser and smarter because you've learned that there are no mistakes, there are no mess ups from your past, these are all stepping stones to a better, happier future. And yes, those you know setbacks do happen, do come, but they don't affect you as much, they don't rattle you as much. You get back on the bandwagon much quicker and you're so accepting of what is around you and how you're capable and how creative you are in actually manifesting your own success. So please stop and take the time to look at your money mindset. Make sure it is always in a positive place, a respectful place. Accept your past. Be excited about where you are right now. Show gratitude to the opportunity to reframe and change the way that you look at your financial situation and be grateful for the opportunity that you have to create a better future for yourself. 
So look, that is it for this video. I really wanted to get this out there because it's something I see all the time. And it starts internally and it comes out with your language. So when you think about yourself in a positive, respectful place, it will come out in the way that you talk about yourself and the way that you talk about your future. So shift, get out, wake up, realize you have this opportunity to create an incredible future ahead of you and look at what you're feeding your brain from your self-talk your verbal talk out loud, and the way that you feel about your future. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions all need to be positive, and they all need to be positively aligned to each other. I'm gonna link a couple of other videos from that I've made when I first started up my YouTube channel, which I will remake, because my, my style and my comfort levels with talking about this has really changed. But they are really powerful in becoming aware of this. Now, I'm gonna end this video here. Ciao for now.